ट्रेस्टेबल सी द वर्ड ट्रेसिंग इट मीन्स ट्रैकिंग द वैल्यू इन in in other words you can say you are trying to track the value of a variable remember my examples when i said x equal to 5 y equal to 10 and say z equal to x plus y right this assigns a variable assigns a value to x a new variable and it creates x room x and 5 lives inside similarly y10 is y equal to 10 means you are setting value of 10 to a variable y In in the in the memory, we are creating a room y, a room number y, and the value ten lives inside the room in the hotel. When you do z equal to x plus y, you are reading the value. Of, right side executes first. You are reading the value of x. You are reading the value of y, adding it, and then the final value goes into z. Now this is a simple program where we wrote like just three lines of code. But let's say you want to track the values of each variable. when you write complicated program with lot of conditions lot of loops or iterations and you will learn that you want to track the value because you don't know, you know under what condition the value has changed or you wrote the overwrote the value suppose you say here y equal to 5 now okay 5 multiplied by x right and then you are calculating z again now z is going to be y x y power x so as you can see initial value was x then something something then you know change the value of y now change the value of z you can com create lot of complicated code in which you don't know where did you made a mistake in which line you made a mistake and now the value is not coming the desired output is not coming what do you do that so trace table is a technique it's a tool that helps you track the value of variables so that you can narrow down and pinpoint the line in which your program your program is throwing an error or it is generating an error okay uh, you because you have introduced what we call it a bug you call it a defect that bug or defect is something that your program was not supposed to do but you did it for example with z equal to x plus y and accidentally i was not being careful and i say z equal to x minus y now the whole program everything everywhere the value of z is wrong now and you know now it's a bug it's a defect in your program which you need to come back and fix it because you are supposed to add rather than subtract so it's called defect defect is anything or bug a defect or bug is something that is not as that is that is that is in 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 uh, problem in your code and it is because of which it is not giving you the desired output so trace table is a simple table in which you create a table in a certain structure you create a table with some columns the first column is your code itself or you can say line number you know let's say this is a line number And still, line number one, and it is in two, one, two, three, four. Sorry, four and five. So line number one, two, three, four, and five. And this one is your some notes, or remarks. You can say assignment x equal to five. Basically, it's an assignment. Assignment, right? This is also assignment. Z, add two numbers. This is what you are doing. Add two numbers. Why uh, you are multiplying? You know, some you are doing some mathematical operation at a high level, math operation, some writing again, math operations. Now, what is important is remaining columns. So, look at the number of variables you use in your programs, and you will have those many columns. So, right now you have x, y, and z, and everywhere x, y, z. There, if you look at the total number of unique variables, this is what it goes. So, x, y, and z. and our goal is to trace or track the value of x y and z as program runs from top to bottom okay so line number 1 x equal to 5 so x is 5 there is no value for y there is no value for z line number 2 y equal to 10 so x still remains 5 no change in that now y become 10 z is empty line number 3 z equal to x plus y 
So x is still 10. You can see here y is still 10, and z is x plus y, which is 10 plus, sorry, this is 5, 10 plus 5, which is 15. In the next line, y equal to 5 plus x. So y equal to x is still 5, y. 50 because 10 multiplied by 5 is 50. Then the next line, I'm saying z equal to y power x. So x is still 5, y is 50, and this becomes 50 to the power of 5, whatever it is, right? 5 into 5, 25, 125, 625, 1200, it's going to be. And I guess five zeros, okay, something like that. So as you can see, the value of uh, what we did is we tra tracked value of x for each line of code. As line executed, we tracked the value of y, we tracked the value of x, y, and value of z. By looking at it, I can put different values and trace and find out error. Suppose error was suppose the this data came. If we made a mistake here in any line of code, rather than adding and subtracting, you will find that this value z was calculated as x minus y will become minus five and everything will change and become minus. So you will, by creating a trace table, you can identify and pinpoint that problem is in this line. If you look at the value carefully now, you will be able to track down the line number in which you made a mistake. And that is the benefit of trace table, especially as a beginner to know what line you have created a defect okay this is one simple example and you will see more and more examples there is nothing much to do learn in test table it's just a matter of practice